Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com and in this tutorial we're going to look at the stuff that you need to install in order to develop Android applications. Um, so the things you'll need are basically um, a JDK um, Java development kit, a Java runtime environment, you'll need the Eclipse IDE for Java developers, the ADT Android development tools plugin for Eclipse, and one or more Android software development kits. So before you um, install stuff, um, if you go to Google and search for Android and Eclipse, and go to this link here to the ADT plugin on developer.android.com, which is a very useful site, um, which you'll need to refer to a lot if you do any development in Android. Go to installing the Eclipse plugin and go to System Requirements. And uh, you'll notice here that at the moment um, it says that you need JDK 6. So I've, I've got JDK 7 on my system, but I actually installed JDK 6 as well, just to be sure that um, it was compatible with the Android tools. So you may want to do that. And um, now I'm gonna, um, so if you, if you wanna, if you haven't got the JDK installed, um, just search for JDK uh, 6 in Google and go to Java Standard Edition Downloads and if you scroll down here you'll find links to download the um, JDK version 6 and the JRE. Here we go. So download and install those two things from oracle.com and then uh, in Google if you search for Eclipse and go to eclipse.org and go to downloads and just install the latest Eclipse IDE for Java developers and in fact uh, that usually um, is just a, a zip file download and you just have to unzip it and drag an icon to your desktop or somewhere. So um, once you've done that you'll, you should have Eclipse running and you can develop Java programs but for Android we need a couple more things and I'm actually going to right click my clip shortcut here and go to run as administrator because um, my experience is that the Android development tools um, installation uh, doesn't seem to work unless I'm an administrator. It complains about not being able to move folders or something like that. So to be on the safe side, run it as an administrator. Now, if you go back to this, um, let's see this, uh, developer.android.com here. Um, you, um, one of these pages here has um, this installing the Eclipse plugin page uh, has on it a URL which um, is where you need to get the plugin fr from for Eclipse. And what you need to do is just paste that um, URL into the right place in Eclipse. And I'm basically now just going to go through the stuff on this page. Um, which this page looks a bit fearsome, but it's actually really simple um, in most cases, assuming it works. So I'm just going to copy this URL and I need to find the place in Eclipse where you install new software and that tends to move around between the window and the help menu. But at the moment it's in the help menu and I need to go to install new software. And just here I can add a new source for software for plugins new repository um, and I can, I'm just going to call that Android and I'll click OK and now it's going to search that repository for available plugins and um, we're going to see um, a couple of plugins are going to come up and I'm going to install both of them although I probably only need the ADT plugin. In fact this is taking a little while so I'm going to go away and when I come back it'll be um, a little while later. Okay so about um, 30 seconds passed, it wasn't long and now we've got these two items here and I'm going to install both of these. The NDK plugins, um, I, I believe that these are actually, um, these are actually um, things that allow you to develop Android using uh, native code, using stuff like C++. Um, and I've, I've never got into that and I'm not planning to use it, but I'll, I'll install it anyway, um, just in case um, it's needed. And let's just click Next. 
and this can take a little while so again I'm going to skip forward a minute or two okay so I'm back just a minute or two later and now we've got this screen and I'm just going to click next here and accept the license agreements and click finish and I'll let that run and I'll be back just in a tick it's now about a minute later and I'm getting this um, security warning from Eclipse about installing unsigned content and don't worry about that because it always says that I'm just going to click OK and carry on installing and and now it's asking me as you can see if I want to restart Eclipse now I'm actually going to say no um, and I'm going to quit Eclipse manually and the reason for that is that I want to start it as administrator again so I'm going to right click it and go to run as administrator because again I've found um, in the past that this next stage um, doesn't work unless I am an administrator so let's click OK there on the workspace and um, we're almost there but the next thing we need to do is to install um, one or more um, Android um, SDKs, Android Software Development Kits so um, this um, dialog has popped up automatically and this is coming from the, a the um, SDK manager which you can find I think in the win window menu and it's asking me um, so I've got ticked here install the latest version of the Android APIs which supports all the latest features and yes I definitely want that but I'm also going to install um, Android 2.2 because as it says here um, this um, is supported at the moment by 93% of all um, phones and tablets and uh, the thing is when you, when you develop Android applications you have to think about how many people are going to be able to use your application because not everyone, uh, in fact only a minority of people at any given time have the very latest version of Android so I'm going to take that as well and let's just go to next here and I really don't want to send usage statistics to Google because I hate being badgered and I'm just going to run this and um, I'm going to be back very shortly okay so now it's three minutes later and it's asking me to accept these license agreements and I'm just going to do that and now this next stage here takes forever because it's got to download the SDKs which are pretty hefty and install them but we'll come back after that and by then hopefully we will be done okay it's about five minutes later now so it was a pretty quick install five or maybe say seven or eight minutes actually and uh, everything's installed now and if you go to window and Android SDK manager you'll be able to see the SDKs you've got installed and we've got here Android 4.1 and you can see it says installed and um, Android 2.2 is installed and of course you can install more stuff from here if you want to so that's it for this tutorial and you can find um, more videos in this series or more information about this course at um, www.caveofprogramming.com slash android and in the next tutorial in this series we're going to look at creating an emulator so that you can um, test your code so join me again next time and until then Happy coding.